Welcome back. In this demo, we're going to show you how to create a simple Spring Boot project that will display static HTML pages. We'll create a new project, show you the dependencies you need, we'll create a controller for our HTML pages, and we'll add an index.html and show you where that goes. We'll also show you a errors.html. And finally, we'll show you how Spring Boot can render the static pages without a controller. So let's get started. First, we're going to create a new Spring Boot project. We're going to call this Spring Boot HTML. We'll update the package. And this is going to be Spring Boot HTML demo. We're going to hit next. And the dependencies we need. First, we're going to use Spring Web. We're going to use Spring Boot Dev Tools. And finally, we're going to use Timeleaf. Now, even though we're not using Timeleaf pages, when you hover over the description, it will tell you what this Timeleaf dependency does. And it's a modern server-side Java template engine for both web and standalone environments, allowing HTML pages to be correctly displayed as static. So what this will actually allow is this will take care of some of the default mapping in the background. And we'll get into more of that as we get there. We'll hit Next. And we'll hit finish. So this is our Spring Boot HTML project. We're going to go into our source main Java. And we're going to create a new Java class. And this is going to be our main controller. We're going to hit finish. First thing we need to do is add the annotation controller. We're going to import that. And then we're going to create our mapping to our home page, our index page. We're going to do a, add another annotation at request mapping. And this is just going to be for forward slash for our home page. We're going to create the method. It's going to be public. It's going to return a string. It's going to, I can accept any parameters. And it's going to return the string index. Let's go ahead and import the request mapping. Perfect. So if we were to run this now, and we would go to this forward slash our home page. Let's see what it returns. So we're going to right click run as Spring Boot application. All right, it's all started. Go to localhost 8080. And we get this white label error page, right? This is our errors. And this is because there's nothing there for the index. So let's go ahead and add our index HTML. For that, we're going to go to our source, main resources. We're going to come in here to templates. And we're going to create a new file. This file is going to be index.html. We're going to hit finish. It's going to open it up. So I have some very basic HTML code that I'm just going to copy and paste in. And so we did this into our source main resources templates, right? Our source main resources and we add our index.html. And our main controller will be sending the string to look for the index. So let's go ahead and restart this application.
And we're going to refresh this. And there we go. So we have home page. This is what our index.html is returning home page just in H1. Now another option, right, is as we saw before, um, if we were to type home or something else, there's no other mapping. And it gives us this white label error page. So we're going to go ahead and show you how Spring Boot and Time Leaf will help you override this white label error page. Now for this, we're not going to we're not going to have to add anything to the main controller. All we're going to go do is go into templates. We're going to create a new file, and it's going to be called error.html. Again. I have some HTML code that I'm just copying and pasting in. And this is going to be just our generic error page. We're going to save that and we're going to restart the application. And we're going to see if this works, if this displays our generic error page. And take a look. Generic error page is displayed without any explicit mapping, time leaf dependency allows for errors to be mapped to an error.html index in the template. Now, another benefit is time leaf will actually do this for your main page as long as you have an index.html. So what we're going to do is go, we're going to comment this code out we're going to save it so we no longer have an explicit mapping to our index.html. It's going to restart. And let's see if everything works though. So our generic error page is still working. If we just go to our home page, we still get our own our our home page. So that time leaf dependency is very helpful in this situation because it allows for some mapping in the background without you having to explicitly map every single item. On this next video, we're going to show you how to use JSP pages in Spring Boot. If you like this video, if it gave you any value, please give me a, a like and a follow and follow along for more videos. Thank you.